After Jacob received the blessings from his father, Esau was so angry that he wanted to kill his brother. As a result of that, Jacob had to flee and he went away for some 34 years. During this time, he was married, he now had children, and the time had come 34 years later to return to the land of Israel, and once again he was going to meet with his brother Asav. When he is about to meet with Asav, he recites the words, Im Lavan Garti, I stayed with Lavan. Lavan was his father-in-law, a crooked and an evil person. Our rabbis explain that the word Garti, I lived, if you take the letters and you turn them around, you can get to the word Tariag, which is 613. This is a hint to the fact that Jacob was saying to Esau, while I was with Lavan, even though he was crooked and evil, I still kept to the 613 laws of Torah, the values of Judaism, was still dear to me, even in that environment. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein asks a very, very interesting question. And that is, what is the purpose that Jacob says this to Esau? Had Esau been a person who values Torah, who valued what Torah stands for, then I can understand why he mentions this to Esau. But Esau stood for the opposite of Torah values. So why was Jacob telling him that for these 34 years I maintained and kept dear the laws of Torah? The answer is that Jacob was telling Esau something very important. And that is, in my life there are certain non-negotiables. And even though I'm coming back to Israel and I want to make peace with you, you need to understand that there is one non-negotiable and that is, my adherence to the ways of Torah and everything that Torah stands for. If making peace with you is going to compromise that, then you need to understand that that discussion is not on the table for debate. It's very important in life to have certain non-negotiables. Non-negotiables on values and ethics are always very, very important. Take the opportunity of wishing you all Shabbat Shalom.